Hey everybody, it's me Richard with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. So, uh, what was I going to talk about? Oh, um, first <laughs> off, uh, if you guys like horror as much as I do, horror, suspense, tear jerkers, sad stories, don't forget to subscribe below. Come on, you guys, we gotta boost these subscription numbers up. Uh, yeah, it's going into the Christmas time, and hey, what better gifts can you guys find to give somebody but a good scary book? So, I'm going to be doing a review on this book tonight. Actually, it is tonight, because <laughs> it's like uh, 7.15. So, I'm going to be doing a review on July 2021's Come With Me by Ronald Malfi. Come back after the intro. Hey guys, welcome back. So, like I said, if you love horror as much as I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe, subscribe button right there and ring that bell so you get notifications when I post another video. So, <clears throat> those of you that have been watching my channel for like the last two and a half years, uh, not this new one because this new channel has only been around for like three months, but you guys do know I had a channel for uh, two years before that. I love Ronald Malfi. And one of my favorite books of last year was Little Girls. Yeah, I loved that book. It was a great, great, great ghost story. I gave it five stars. So I'm going to be doing a review on this one. Now, I won't show you uh, what I gave it on my Goodreads. But there's the cover right there. Now, this book only has, uh, let me see, how many pages did this summer have? 387 pages, and it was published on July 20th of this year, 2021. So, uh, I am going to talk about this book really quick. Now, I love a good ghost story. Um, and when a ghost story can make me think and rip my insides out. Wow, did you guys just hear my, wow. Can you hear my shoulders? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. Um, but when a good horror story can really rip my emotions out, wow, that's good writing. But Malfi does this really, really, really well. He can write a ghost story unlike anybody else. And when he writes a ghost story, he really makes you constantly do this. And I was doing this the whole time I read this book. Now, I finished this book a little over a week ago. I just haven't gotten around to uh, reviewing it. Because I've been really, really busy uh, with a big jewelry show I'm doing on the 19th, 20th, and 21st. It's called the uh, Harvest Festival. It travels um, along the West Coast. But yeah, I've been really, really busy doing jewelry and doing stuff for that show. But uh, I've been meaning to get to this review. So I'm going to do it tonight. <clears throat> now, this book was devastating. Um, any of us that has ever lost anybody like a significant other, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or even a husband or a wife knows what it's like 
to go through that personal loss. Um, that kind of loss where you have somebody in your life and then they're all of a sudden ripped from you and you don't have them. Now, I am going to uh, try to do this without my glasses on. But I'm going to read to you guys what I wrote on my uh, Goodreads account. And then I'm going to um, analyze what I wrote or what I just told you how I rated this book. So, um, I always, you know, post like the first paragraph on my Goodreads account in very bold, uh, thick letters just for them to stand out. But this is what I wrote. Once again, Ronald Malfi ripped the emotions right out of me and at the same time had me looking over my shoulders. I love this ghost story of love lost and the bounds we take for granted. Read it. Aaron Decker and his wife, Allison, have been married for almost five years and they are still really madly in love. Aaron translate Jap translates Japanese novels into English for a living and Allison has a life that Aaron has not a clue about. One morning in December, Allison tells Aaron, come with me, honey, we can get lunch at the Red Rooster. He turns her down, telling her he has too much work to do before deadlines and whatnot. He never had a clue that this would be the last time he ever saw her and that these would be the last words he ever tells, she ever tells him. His world com changes completely and forever. Aaron's grief is getting the best of him. He misses her terribly. He sees and hears her everywhere. She is even haunting his sleep patterns. What little of sleep patterns that he has left. Upon going through her belongings to try to put his past away, and move on with his life, Aaron finds a credit card receipt from a rundown motel in her stuff. Yeah, he's going through her personal belongings and he's putting things away and donating things and he comes across a receipt. A receipt that she had put on a credit card from this really, really, really seedy motel that she had stayed at. what is this? You know, he looks at it and he's like, oh my God, was she having an affair that she was trying to keep from him? What secrets was Allison keeping from Aaron? Now with Malfi, I have absolutely loved the last three of his books I read, and this was no exception. However, I didn't love it as much as I did Little Girls, but how many authors can make you cry in sadness and scare you with the suspense as sharp as a razor at the same time. Not very many. The story of Aaron and Allison is so intense and perfectly written that it made me think of how many times I have said this. If you love someone, make sure you tell them. Yeah, you guys, life is a gift that we're given. And like I always say, and I've said so many times to people in my life, just don't unwrap the gift all at once. Um, I have, yeah. I have said this many, many times. You never know when your life will take an unexpected turn and take those away from you. This book would have been a perfect five-star read for me if there would have been a little bit more about the urban legend in the book called Gashead. Now, I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but Gashead <laughs> is a very, very, very creepy urban legend. And Malfi just doesn't expand on it and really get into it and tell you what Gashead is. He does kind of tell you what it, e what it is, but I never went there. Oh, it never went there with the supernatural. However, I would still highly recommend this ghost story of tragic tale of a love that is lost and taken away from someone. Um, now, this book was very intense in parts. Uh... It is, um, like I said, it hooks you right at the beginning. And then um, it kind of like goes somewhere where you're thinking, what in the hell do I like this book? But um, I'm not giving a spoiler away because this, this happens in like the first two chapters. But, um, and it says on the back of the book and on the inside cover, um, I don't physically have a copy of this, but I listened to it on my Scribd account, and uh, that's why I'm showing you the, 
the, the digital copy. But when Allison tells him, you know, honey, go with me, you know, come with me, you know, we, you know, we can catch lunch. He doesn't go. And um, later that evening, he, he realizes, you know, wow, she's been gone all day. You know, you know, why hasn't she come home yet? And he turns on the news and in their local town um, at, a, you know, kind of like a, a small mall, a mall, a shopping center, there's a horrible shooting and uh, many people are killed. Well, Allison is one of them. Um, yeah. And it was it was totally devastating. And in this world that we're living in right now with all this violence and hate and um it was just devastating, but uh, Aaron's life just totally goes from this wonderful, he's so in love with his wife, and she's just ripped away from him. And oh my God, uh, this book just devastated me, but it also creeped me out. And throughout the book, as Aaron... Um, starts interviewing people about, you know, this incident, he starts going on uh, kind of like an investigation. So he starts finding out secrets and uncovering things that Allison was doing that he had no idea that she was even doing this stuff. And when you find out where Malfi takes you on this, oh my God. It did not go where I thought it was going to go. And I loved it. Uh, I gave it a four. I, I gave it a four star, rounded it up to almost a four and a half star. Um, if you've never read Malfi, this would be a great book of his to pick up. Now, I would recommend picking this up before his Bone White. Um, Bone White was one of his books that I didn't really care for. But... Uh, yeah, I, I, I just love his writing, and um, this book will devastate you, and it, it, it's intense. It's um, the urban legend of Gashead was so creepy, and it's just like, oh, Malfi, why didn't you, uh, you know, he could have taken, he could have brought the gore and the horror out with this character, and he just didn't... Um, he didn't expand on that, and it, it, that's where I uh, where I hesitated whether I wanted to give it a three star. I loved it, and the first hundred pages, I was literally hooked, and I kept telling Bruce, "Oh my God, this book is devastating," and um, yeah, it actually uh, really made me tear up at the end of the book, and. Um, don't read people's reviews on Goodreads. Go into this book if you're if you're thinking about picking it up. Go into it completely blind because you do not want to know what goes on. And um, I loved it. So you guys, if you haven't done so already, please hit that uh, subscribe button down there. If you like today's or tonight's review, and if you if you've liked what you've seen on the channel, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I do comment, I mean, I do respond to all comments. So please, if you've read this book, drop me a line down in the basement what you thought of it, what you think of Malfi's books, if you've ever read any of his books, and what are your favorites by him. So you guys, like I said earlier, um, with the holidays coming up, whew, get shopping now because it looks like everything's going to be shortaged in the stores. Uh... Yeah, so hey you guys, I'm Richard with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. So take care of yourselves, pick up a good scary book, live your life like a storybook. And you guys, I'm Richard, and I will see you in the next horror-filled video. Take care you guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. See you guys.